Hi, my friends. Well, I don't know if you saw the whole Biden uh, deal has been met, you know, the debt ceiling increase. And we knew this. I mean, seriously, we have played this game over and over, year after year. It's the old, uh, you know, hurry up and uh, see what we can do, the scramble and have everybody worried. They had the stock market moving around, had, you know, the, you know, all these things. I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, if you can't see through the lies of this world anymore and how fake this reality is, I don't know what to tell you. Because even my mother, she uh, she's very keen on things and always uh, good at it. But, uh, you know, she's she doesn't pay attention to a whole lot of this stuff, but she immediately was like, this is the, the biggest joke. She goes, we all knew the whole thing was going to be an agreement and reach no matter what. See, they do this all the time. See, before, historically... Uh, they always did it on uh, right around on Christmas, like the week before, that everybody biting their nails. You know, are they going to get the thing in before the end of the year? And they'll probably do it again this year. They'll probably say, oh, we'll run out of money again before the end of, uh, before Christmas comes along, right? But anyway, so they always like last minute scramble and there's hardly anybody know there to, and everybody else is so involved in other things. People are trying to enjoy the Memorial Day weekend. And so always time it just perfect. You know, when the, when everybody's focus is, you know, usually they say, look over here, look over there, you know. This is where they let things naturally occur. You can have the stock market up nice and good on Friday and make sure that people weren't uh, paying attention stuff and do that. Now, I'm saying that people should get a break from this world, okay? They do need to walk away from this world because it is, it is disgusting and keep your mind away from it. But you also have to pay attention to, uh, to what's going on around the world, right? And because... <laughs> You know, like I said, we're in this world, but not of it. We still got to pay attention to what's going on. So anyway, it's so like I said, uh, historically, uh, even when they passed the Federal Reserve, which people don't even realize in this country, uh, probably 80% of people don't even realize that the uh, monetary system isn't even by a government. The note is not uh, the Federal Reserve note. It's not even controlled by the government or even produced by the government. But um, they passed that on Christmas Eve, and I can't remember the exact year. But they knew that nobody would show up and vote against it. And also the rest of the world was already focusing on uh, the Christmas holiday season. So this one is another gameplay of during the holidays that they love to make their best moves to uh, do this whole garbage, ridiculous stuff. So anyway, what also bothers me about this is that uh, on this, they talk about, no, this is, I was looking at, you know, I'm not trying to judge people because not everybody uses you to define their news. They hear on the radio or things like this. But we wonder why the world is a mess and why uh, things are out of balance. Because you look at the number of views on a lot of these. There's 3,000 here, 4,000 there, 263 watching. Well, things like that. But one of my point is this about nobody takes action and nobody actually... Uh, and watches this. Now, I know that a lot of people are spiritually fully awake. They're like, I don't want to partake in this world anymore. And maybe that's the way to go because the more you partake, you know, the more you see the how much it makes you just want to just puke. I mean, just it, it's so it's such a mockery of of humanity. It's a, a mockery of, of humankind. It's a mockery of our rights. It's all these other things, right? But anyway, and we all knew this. We all know that these games played. I just didn't know this extent, you know, over the years. The further I've gotten awake, the more I just get sick to my stomach. I just, I cannot believe how much more can these people take before they don't start joining me and you saying, something ain't right about this world. It's completely fake. I mean, it's, it's a very simple question now. I mean, back then I used to fall for the games and I used to be rooting on one side of the team and all these other things. But at this point, it's like it should be very clear in your mindset that you got to be asking questions. That I swear, you know, I've met uh, you know uh, kids in high school that can see through this the veil of fakery. They're like, oh, it's all BS. I mean, seriously. But you know, they get you get so brainwashed to get so the years, and you get and they've done such a good job that you don't tend to just wake it up and open your eyes, right? And you don't open up your mind. So anyway, um. I'm going to drop this and just want, you know, there's a lot more to say about this. It's just another one. I bet Matt, Matt of Quantum Conscious is, <laughs> he's about to lose his mind. I mean, seriously, this, well, I mean, a lot of us are, right? And it's just getting so insane. It's like sitting in the clowns already, right? That, and another thing I was going to say is that's very important that I keep telling you 
make sure that you control your mind. That is the biggest thing. I'm seriously, if I even had to write the, uh, if I had to write the, uh, you know, uh, the, a, a commandment, I would wrote right there on 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 my my commandments list. I would have said number one, control your mind because your mind controls your thoughts, your feelings, emotions. You follow your heart. Your heart is not always a good thing to follow because you follow your heart, it can get you into disaster, right? So I repeat, control your mind and your thoughts. Now that doesn't mean just over like overall in general. That means like every moment, like this. I'm gonna immediately cut this off and go back to watching some great uh, old time movies. Heck, I don't know. Maybe watch the Honeymooners. I just threw out there. Maybe watch uh, some old just good time quality um, TV uh, shows. Now you can say, "Oh, I know this program, Kirk." Well, I know my brain has been programmed to enjoy these things in this reality, right? And uh, so, just to try to survive. But anyway, well, enjoy the fakery. Enjoy the whole uh, bread and circus show. I mean, they got it. I mean, seriously, they take everyone for idiots. And uh, boy, I guess I guess we are, right? Well, anyway, all right. Take care, and I hope you're having a lovely uh, memorial. Um, holiday weekend. All right. Take care.